Hey gamers, it is episode 12 now. Oh my goodness, we're progressing through this game pretty easy. Uh, the first thing I want to show you is that, well, I did realize this, but this system is not very self-sufficient. Like, so that flux plug and flux point is going to keep sending energy to this controller and having an ME system up actually drains my energy from over here and it's not gonna last permanently so for now I just made a small kill switch that whenever this lever is on it's gonna send a redstone signal to this conduit connector which will then activate and send energy through here like that boom so it's just a way to turn it on and off for now um, there is a buffer and yep, episode 12, I think I want to start off by moving our portals from down here to up there. So let's do that real quick. Alright, here we go gamers. We have moved the items. Alright, so let's go ahead and light this up. Boop! We have moved the portals. There we go. It looks good up here. And you know what? Let's go ahead and um, I'm gonna name my tools just for the fun of it. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that real quick. So you could take your sword here, and you could start naming it. Like you could, I could name it Carl's Broadsword because it is my broadsword. There you go. Boom. All right. Let me just do that for the rest of us. And. We'll see what we have planned today. Now we got our tools named after us. Well, we feel a little bit cooler. Don't you guys feel cool? I do. Let's go ahead and place these things in there. And let's get to what we need to do. Today, we are going to be doing some canola stuff we'll be using this canola from actually editions and we'll be using it to convert to rf and hopefully that will be our uh, rf stores for the next few episodes so that being said there's just a few things that we need for example we need to set up a canola farm first and we are going to go to the industrial foregoing mod. I'm going to look into the plant. Plant. There it is. Plant sower and plant gatherer. And where's the range upgrades? Range. We're going to do the plus seven. This cost is my favorite. Because I could keep my farms into one chunk. That is the plan. So let's go ahead and make these things. Let's go ahead and make two machine frames if possible. Okay. There it is. There it is. And we're going to need a flower pot. And two iron gears. Alright, alright. Bam! Plant sower. Now we need plant gatherer. Gatherer, here it is. A hoe and two axe. It's not too hard at all. And two gold gears. Okay, let's go. We got that. Now we just need two of these range add-ons. All right. We are going. To, oh, we're also gonna need flux, flux points. I believe there. That's what they're called. Yep. Flux points. You know what? Uh, flux. Let's, let's go ahead and keep that in the bookmark section for a while. And let's go ahead and make some flux cores. I have Ender. Let's go ahead and keep those in there for a while, for a bit. Okay, buddy. Let's go ahead and make flux cores. There we go. Flux points. Flux 
points. There we go. We got fox points. We will only be needing one. But I made a few just in case I need some more in the future. Next thing we need is... Soil or dirt or something. Hmm. I think I have some in my backpack. There it is. Fertile soil. Is this enough? A 16 by 16? Let's, let's calculate. 225. I need about 225 of this fertile soil. I don't have any bones in there. Oh, I'm crazy. Or is it dirt that I'm missing? I am missing dirt in there. There you go. Now I have dirt. Oh my goodness. I'm actually out of bone meal too. I'm crazy gamers. Alright. We, we are going to put this through the sag mill. Just because it gives more bone meal. That's it for now. Hopefully. That is the play. So. Let's go make... 250, that should be fine. Face reveal when? Huh? Do you guys already miss my face? It's, it has not been that long. Calm down, my gamers. <laughs> Alright, I need to find a place to put down my canola farm. And I believe this is going to be the area. Huh? I'm in the- bro, I could see the code. I could see the code. <laughs> I'm wall hacking. Alright, I think this is where I want to put down the canola farm. Is this, is this right? I, I feel like I want to put it down here instead. No. Here. Let's put down the canola farm here. I'll trade you hacks for hacks? Hmm, maybe. Maybe, gamers. Here you go. We'll set that down. Then we'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 that way. And 7 this way. Is that right? Yes. Oh, shoot. I already forgot where the middle is. I'm crazy. Let's just go ahead and place these boys down. Come on. There we go. Oh. You know, I forgot where the middle is already. I'm crazy. <laughs> Why do I keep doing this, gamers? Okay. Let's find the middle. It'd be the middle, right? Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, let's just use this. Hello! You're out? Okay, gamer. I'll see you later. So we're going to use the uh, plant sower or gatherer. Sower. Yes, the sower. So we're going to place that down there. Give it some range add-ons. And let's put the canola down. And we should be able to see its work area. If There we go. That is the exact size I need. I'm crazy like that, gamers. And we're going to put our plant gatherer right here. Yeah. Okay, buddy. Boop. Right here. There we go. And then we are going to connect it with conduits. The energy conduits and item conduits. Because we're crazy like that. Or are we? Okay. We're gonna have this to insert. And have this to insert. And we'll have another set of conduits. On the same line. Oh my goodness, I'm crazy. There we go. I have this to extract and we'll have this to insert okay we got this so what's gonna happen is 
Let's see the range of this. Very good. And by the way, to get these grid lines, just press F9 twice. And then we're going to have to give this some energy. So we'll give it this flux point, which I'll place right here. Which I will then set over here. And we'll name this the canola farm. There we go. There we go. I started placing down our canola. It has RF. And we will have this set to extract energy. All right. Now that we have our machines working, we will now then. I feel like I'm missing some crucial information, but I'm not sure what it is. Okay, so when they grow, this plant gatherer will then gather the plants and. And. What will it do? It will stay, it will be in this inventory and I want it to come out. Hmm, yes. Let's just use a chest for now. We'll use a, uh, do I have storage crate here? I do, all right. We'll just use a crate for now. Just to make sure it's working. Have it right here. We'll have this to insert. And yep. Actually, you know what? First, let's place down these canola seeds next to each other. We're gonna do some duplication. Some duplication techniques. So, what I have here is a watering can. Where did that go? Oh, oh here it is. Here's the watering can. We're going to fill it with water. Okay. And we're going to give this boy some water. There we go. Oh. Need more water. Okay. Come on. There we go. And when they grow... The A will be picked up by this plant gatherer. And you know what? I do need a filter. Do I want to fil- do I need a filter? Yes, actually. I do. No, no I don't. This is prior- I just need to give this a priority. Eight. So, it will always- Is this working? Hello? Oh, there it is. It's working! So it's gonna have canola seeds. Wait, is it sending canola over here? Okay, so it's gonna send canola down here and then send the seeds over here, which is good. Here, you know what, lock inventory, there we go. Let's go ahead and do this. Okay, might have made a mistake with that one. Stop, stop working for a second. We're going to fill your inventory with canola seeds just to make sure it's working. There you go. Unlock it. And now let's play again. And bam! You got canola! We got canola gamers. You know what? We're going to put it in a 5x5 five five area right now. Just cause. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Alright. All right, then we could just water it all in one spot. Have some good old canolas. And we'll give this boy some seeds to work with. All right. That being said, let's go ahead and uh, give it some light. Give this boy some light. All right. We got light. We have light. Is that good? Get these canola out. Let's just place them here. And bam! We have canola for days. That's how we're gonna get canola. 
the part two is gonna have to be using that canola to convert it to RF. Hello gamers! We now let's get started on the part two of the canola. Let's see what we got here. We got quite a bit of canola, which is good. Let's go ahead and turn sound into seeds so that this stays fresh, you know what I'm saying? Boom! There you go. Never run out of canola this way. But now that we have our canola, we are going to need to turn it into something we can use using the canola press and the fermenting barrel. I'll be right back. I'm gonna need to learn the ratios on these. Alright, after learning the ratios, it's the fermenting barrel is gonna convert it is going to convert canola oil to refined oil at 80 mega millibuckets per hundred ticks and the canola press is gonna convert canola to canola oil 80 megabit meg millibuckets per 30 ticks so uh, calculation is correct it should be 3 to 1 ratio I believe hold on okay so according to the website it is fermenting barrel I mean the canola press this thing makes 80 mega millibuckets of canola per 30 ticks so it's gonna take canola use some RF convert it to canola oil let's see yes the canola oil right here and then after it becomes canola oil we're gonna place it in a fermenting barrel which is this thing which will then take 80 millibuckets and convert it into oil uh, refined oil I believe yes it's gonna take it yes it's gonna take canola turn it to canola oil refined canola oil and then it does that 80 millibuckets per hundred thick so the ratio should be 3 to 1 we should get about mm, 3 canola presses and 10 fermenting barrels I believe is 3.33 to 1 so did I do that math right? 100 divided by 30 yes okay so let's go ahead and do this we're gonna take 10 fermenting barrels do we have enough for that? no we do not we'll make 10 of these there we go then 10 canola and 10 inori crystals which you just take iron and you pull it through the atomic reconstructor there it is oh oopsie there we go some inori crystals canola we're missing canola don't worry we have quite a bit over here here we go All right, let's see. We should be able to make 10. Sweet. Now we'll make three of these. And we're gonna need some advanced coils. I mean, some basic coils. We're gonna take some redstone, put it through the atomic reconstructor. And then. That is how we make this basic coil. Then we're gonna need some advanced coil. There you go. And canola press. All right. So that is the ratio. And actually, would it be fine if I just place it all here? Or should it place it in here? Around here. Let's just place it here for now. So we're going to take five of these, uh, actually let's take these canola presses, place it down right here, uh, mm, I feel like I'm doing this wrong. 
All right, so this is how I'm setting it up. We're gonna take... No, not yet. So, here is how it's gonna work. First, we're gonna borrow some energy from the plug and place it inside the canola press. And this barrel is gonna receive said canolas, which will then distribute it evenly among these canola presses. All right. Let's go make sure we have enough uh, energy up here. Just to make sure. We're just making sure. We have quite a bit. Okay. We should be fine. So, it is going to turn into canola oil, which will then be converted into the fermenting barrels. I'm gonna place them right over. Hmm. Here is fine. Oh shoot, it's passing them out automatically. Not exactly what I wanted, but it's fine. So I want it to be passed out like this. I'm gonna need more fluid conduits, aren't I? It's alright, let's go make some more. Alright, now that we got our vibrant alloys, we're gonna combine it to make some Conduits. Sweet. I also made some extras just for future references. But we're gonna take the canola oil out of here and distribute them evenly into our fermenting barrels so that they can become refined canola oil. So that's that. Actually, let's move it up once because I don't like these two connecting. Alright, so I have these conduits set to extract and then they will pass on their canola oil into the fermenting barrel which will become refined canola oil and then I want this to insert. Let's go ahead and copy paste this. Oopsie, there we go. Okay, so I made a filter. A fluid filter and a bucket. I wonder if we just take out that refined canola oil. Yes, I can. Very good. So, I also want it to extract, but I want it to go inside a drum. This drum will do for now. So, we'll go into this drum. This is just maybe temporary. And I want it to insert, and I want it to be the brown. And I want it to only take refined canola oil. Let's go ahead and set this to extract brown, always active. All right, so for now, this is going to be the setup. So far, we've got 23 buckets of canola, which is nice, which is quite nice. And with those buckets of refined canola, we are going to use the... Alright gamers, we're going to be using the compression dynamo to make our canola, to turn our canola into power. Let's go ahead and start with 9 for now. Yeah, that should be alright. There we go, 9 compression dynamos. And I do believe it requires some sort of coolant. Let's go see what kind of coolant we could use. Use water at 20% efficiency or gelid cryotium at 60%. Hmm. For now, let's just use water. Just keep it simple. We, we, we could uh, expand on this on a much later date, but this is gonna have to do for now. Alright, it's filling up with canola as we speak. I'm hoping that this is enough to max out all of them. Nope, it is not. That's fine. That is fine, honestly. And now we're gonna get water in there somehow. <laughs> we need water to get some RF going. But before that, actually, let's go get uh, Accus Accumulator right now. 
so I don't forget about it. I'm lagging. Oh, that's weird. That's fine. That is fine. Aqueous accumulator. Here we are. I am missing a few parts. Okay, the gear, there we go. Oh, it's nice to have the AE system up. Makes crafting so much easier. So we got a QAS accumulator, which we'll then set up right underneath here, honestly, like that. It was gonna fill up with water and I want this to extract water, but not yet oh man it's doing it already but it's I haven't even have it huh it says never active whatever pal it's whatever well it's gonna have water now and it's gonna start generating us RF which will then convert which you will then place into a plug do, do I have an extra one no I don't that's fine extract Extract. I don't want you touching. Okay, boys. Turns out we have run into a problem while I was trying to make some flux plugs. We we're gonna need some flux block, which comes from flux. So, to get this to first place, I have to go destroy some redstone ore. So, I'm gonna do that real quick with my good old builder. Alright gamers, I have the quarry set up and I'm hoping to find some flux while this is going because that would be wonderful because that is what we're looking for. Alright gamer, I don't know what's going on but I mined out 8 chunks of this world. And not a single flux dropped. I think it might be a glitch with the builder. Or. Or. It's just that I need fortune on it. I'm not sure. But. Nothing worked. So we're going to have to manually do it ourselves. So let's just go to the overworld and put this in their places first. Get them doubled. And we'll go back and mine. Okay, we got all these ores processing right now. It's quite a bit. But we'll get through it. We will get through it. Speaking of, let's make sure this is nicely fed. It's nicely fed. There we go. Alright, gamers. I'm at Y equals 6. And this should be Y equals 7. Which should be the Y level for redstone according to the uh, map here so it's redstone and let's just start mining okay gamers what is going on here huh it's not dropping from redstone or at all it's making me mad what is this a glitch I don't know what is going on let's see let's google up Alright gamers, under the uh, impression that this might be a glitch because I'm not getting any flux from so-called redstone, I'm, I d enabled the recipe back on the console. So I have the old recipe turned on right now and I'm just putting redstone into fire which makes flux. Oh, there we go, <laughs> much better. So now we could get back to making our flux plug. There we go. Now that we have our flux plug, we'll set it down right here. And we will set this to. We'll connect it. Hmm. We'll name this the canola farm. We'll have that to insert. 
And I guess we'll click on this. No, let's make a new network, I think. Yeah, let's make a new network. Alright, I named it energy in. So this is gonna be in. And you know what? Let's make this network energy output. There we go. It's a little bit more organized. So that being said, we'll have our energy in going into this also. I'm gonna need a flux point. I will put this to energy in. I will name this the, uh, you know, I'll just name it energy cell for now. I don't really have a name for it yet. There we go. That should be taking energy RF from down here and then placing it up there with our energy cell. Good. Technically, we have infinite energy now. It's just kind of slow. And that is just fine. You know what? Let's go ahead and use uh, some upgrade kits here. We're going to upgrade them to reinforce. So let's do that real quick. There is a total of nine of them. Okay, that took quite a little bit of doings of melting and alloying stuff, but I do have metals on its way because I will need them in the future. So I'm gonna go ahead and get our conversion kits here and then upgrade our compression dynamos. Basically, it's gonna allow from 40 RF per tick to 80 RF per tick. And it does keep its efficiency, so that's good. You know what? If possible, let's also upgrade it once more. I also I saw a slot in there that I could upgrade it with. Hmm, what kind of, of things we could use? Oh, right here. I want a fuel catalyzer in all of them. And there's nine of them, so I'm going to need 18. This will increase the efficiency of... Um, it's gonna make sure that we use less canola oil per tick. So that's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. So we just need to go back here and then right click. There we go. That should save us on canola oil because we are burning through a lot more canola oil than we are producing. So hopefully that should offset it just a little bit. That being said, how's our energy? Okay, it's not bad. Let's go ahead and charge up this energy cell. And let's go. Alright gamers, that should end episode 12. So we now have a source of um energy. So we could actually take this out now. And just have this on permanent on. So that, that's good. So that's that. That is that gamers. Alright, I'm out. If you guys make sure to like and subscribe. And if you guys have any questions or want to tell me anything, just hit me up in the comment section. Boop!